Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jim Labuda here once again. And today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna take a look at the golf swings of two NFL quarterbacks. Josh Allen of the Buffalo Bills on your left side, Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers on your right side. We're gonna see what we can learn about the golf swing that these two NFL greats do really, really well. So we're gonna start with Josh on the left side here. As he starts taking the golf club away, you're going to see that his right arm really starts to bend early in the golf swing. That's an indication of him using his hands and arms to take the golf club away from the ball as opposed to using his upper body, the larger muscles of his body or his torso to rotate away from the ball. If we look at Aaron over here on the right side, we're going to see that he's pretty similar. His right arm stays bent or stay straight a little bit longer, but even here you can see it definitely starts working and starts folding behind him. So what that's gonna do is as Josh over here gets to the top of his swing, you can see his hands get a little bit too deep in the swing. Again, I don't like the fact that the butt end of this club is really so far behind his feet here. Aaron over here on the right side, Gets to a little bit better position, but if you look at Aaron's upper body, okay, you're going to notice here that once again, it doesn't look like his shoulders are even fully rotated. He could probably could move that right shoulder a little bit further back behind him, a little bit better hip turn and get it to a little bit more powerful position. But this is really at this point where both players really excel. I'm going to start with Josh moving here on the left side. As he moves into impact, Really gets into a good impact position here. I'm going to keep an eye on his right foot. You see how it really starts rolling through impact there. Aaron on the right side again, same thing. Gets his gets up on his toe a little bit, but look at both of those right foots. What that tells us is that they're using their upper body to rotate through the ball, and they're not spinning their hips through impact like a lot of us are trying to do. This is an indication of how your right foot should be post-impact. This is a sign that as your right foot is moving through the golf ball, it's moving your right knee at the ball, that's moving, that's your, meaning your left hip is clearing out. You're not spinning your hips because if you spin your hips too fast, you're going to be standing up on your right toe at this point. So both of these players have really excellent footwork through impact here. And this is something that I know every amateur player out there really thinks they should spin their hips through impact to create power and speed in the golf swing. But if you guys want some improved leg work, copy what Josh Allen is doing here, copy what Aaron Rodgers is doing, work on a proper weight transfer to your lead side, don't spin those hips, and allow that right foot to roll after impact.